So today we're going to multiply fractions. Now in normal maths, adding and taking away is the easy one, but with fractions it's the other way around. So the way to remember it is the multiply and divide here are absolutely the easy ones. It's the adding that's difficult. So very easy method for multiply. Uh, so we've got two thirds multiplied by a seventh or times. What you just do is do a big long line here and put the numbers on the top and then do it as two separate sums at the top and at the bottom. So two times one is two, three times seven is 21. So dead easy, multiplying fractions, you just do the multiply the tops together, there, and then the bottoms together. Dead easy. Now the only thing you have to watch out for is simplify, because these can get to be quite big numbers. So check out our video on how to simplify fractions, but just as a small recap, you try, divide both top and bottom by two, then by three, then by four. Now two is a prime number, so you can't get any lower for this one here. If we just do another quick one, let's do a bigger one. Three quarters times by two thirds. So we do the big long line, write it at the top like this, and at the bottom like this. So again, just times the tops, times the bottom, dead easy, making a meal out of this really. 3 times 2 is 6, 4 times 3 is 12. Now 6, 12 is a perfectly good answer, but as you can see, both top and bottom are even, so we can divide them both by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 12 divided by 2 is 6. And again, 3, 6 is a good answer, but it's not the best, because as you can see, they both divide by 3. So divide the top by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, and divide the bottom by 3, 6 divided by 3 is 2. So simplifying fractions does take a bit of practice. Um, you just have to sort of look at it and think, oh yeah, let's try 7, let's try 3, let's try 2. But if you if you don't really understand, try divide by 2, try divide by 3, try divide by 5, try divide by 7, and see what you get. And one trick is to look at these two numbers at the bottom and see if they divide by these two. So if you see 12 does divide by 4, but 6 doesn't. 12 divides by 3 to be 4 at the bottom, and 6 divided by 3 to be 2, and then 2 quarters is a half. So that's how you times fractions. Dead easy, don't be confused with this. Just times the tops together and times the bottoms. It's just two sums, and at the end you might have to simplify. Now the trick is with divide. So dividing fractions, you think, oh my god, I don't like divide and I don't like fraction, but this is dead easy when you know this little trick. So one trick with fractions, and just make sure you do this with the second one. Instead of dividing by one over seven, you can completely change this to something that's nice and easy. So leave the two thirds the same. Instead of divide, we'll switch that with times. Now, because we've switched that, we need to switch this. So instead of one over seven, you write seven over one. Now that's it now. Now we're just back to multiply. So two times seven is 14 and three times one is three. So the answer is 14 over three. Now that's a top heavy or a fat fraction, and I'll show you in a different video how to get from 14 over three to a nice uh, answer. Um, but I say for divides, any fractions you want, two thirds divided by, I don't know, two fifths, just rewrite it out. Leave the first one. Don't swap the first one at all. Leave that the same. Divide, we swap to times, and because we swap that, we need to swap 2 over 5 to 5 over 2. Perfectly good, perfectly reasonable. I could explain well, but I'm keeping the explanation to myself so it doesn't confuse anyone. 2 times 5 is 10, 3 times 2 is 6. Again, we've got a top heavy fraction, and I'll show you how to do that in a different video. But for divide, all you've got to do is swap divide for times and switch your fraction, second fraction, upside down. Dead easy. I say time and divide are a lot easier than add and subtract. Um, it's just one good thing about fractions. So that's how you time and divide. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be doing a top heavy video here. And I'll also be doing something like two thirds plus two and a half as well. Um, I'll have to do one of those in another video. Again, both dead simple and we'll keep the method nice and straightforward. So a quick recap. The times in, just times the top and times the bottom. Then simplify for dividing. Swap the divide for times and then turn this fraction upside down and then you're back to times in again. Don't be confused, it look weird, but that's just the way to do it. So times in and dividing fractions. Enjoy!